if we there though it's all about finishing what we started man if, if we don't finish it don't mean shit and if we gotta if we gotta have things removed from, from our lives then so fucking be it if we don't finish it don't mean shit Hey, Shalom, Akim Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Shimei Havashai by Shimra Kakwadash. Double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the whole full leg. Hey, real quick, man. Hey, that's. Hey, that, that was a heavy statement that the brother just made, man. I've been kind of watching his videos all afternoon, and I'm not going to lie. This brother, uh, he's. He, he he motivates, you know what I'm saying? He motivates and he has a strong spirit. The name Kazak was means strong. Now, I can tell that the Lord is putting brothers through certain things, man, because now the men of the Lord have a cold fucking spirit on them, man. And that's how the hell we going to be in this truth. We got to have a cold fucking spirit on us, man. Like I always like to mention the account of being callous like. You got to be like a bulletproof vest, man. Yeah, shit going to get to you. Shit going to hurt. You know, but overall, man, you got to get up and keep pushing. You can't let one puss in a situation throw you off your rocker, man. All right. And when the brother said, hey, we don't finish our course, it don't mean shit. You come this far just to fall out the truth and not go to the finish line. Like these niggas, Nazariah, for an example. And I'm going to use these cons for an example. OK, he's been in the truth a little bit longer than I have. Well, he was in the truth. I say that. But now where are they? They fainted. Scriptures say he did faint in a dead adversity. His strength is small. All right. So if we don't finish the course of the battle, it don't mean shit. Everything you've worked for, every sacrifice you done made, every time you done went out on the highways and the hedges and brick cold, fucking scolding hot summer. Every time you didn't got persecuted for the word, any time that you've got you, you sacrificed your whole life just to fucking fall out the truth and not make it to the end. You was a dumbass, man. You was a fucking idiot. Because you don't have the spirit of the Lord on you, man. Like, I've watched guys in this truth go from being on fire and somewhat diligent to not doing a motherfucking thing, man. Not doing shit. And that's what pisses me off about that, that weak-ass spirit, man, you niggas are showing out there, man. You claiming to be men of the Lord, but niggas ain't putting their fucking best, foot, best fucking foot for it, man. You supposed to be on fire for this thing. What's the whole point of getting in the truth just to be a lukewarm nigga, man? You got brothers that's sick, brothers on a deathbed, still doing the work of the most high, man. Not bitching and complaining about they fucking infirmities, man. And you got niggas that's able-bodied that ain't putting their motherfucking best foot for it, man. And I'm going to tell you like this, the most high is going to kill you niggas, man. Because you a fucking block, man. A fucking block, man. Just get the fuck out the truth. And if the shoe fit, then motherfucker wear it, man. Because I'm sick of the bullshit, man. Brothers are going through holy hell and still standing stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Like you got these new fucking bugged out niggas of the Sakari talking shit about the men of the, uh, of the GM. Man, look, nigga, we above all you camps, man. And I say that with boldness, man. We above you. We're fucking guys on this planet. We're the men of the Lord. We ain't worried about you niggas out there. You can talk the shit you want to talk. We don't give a fuck, man. We're going to finish this course and we're going to finish it strong through the spirit and power your how about Shimmy how shy, man. Because what are we, what, why, why would you come this far and just get weak and fall out? Why would you come this far? You're wasting your time. And that's what the brother is talking about, man. We're finna see glorious things. We're finna see miracles out here. I want to partake in that. I don't know about a lot of you cats. But, hey, I want some of that, man. I want some of them cookies, man. I work for that shit. Brothers work for that shit. We work for that shit, man. And I'd be damned if I let another nigga take that shit from what the fuck we work for. I'd be damned, man. We got to stay in this shit, man, to the end. Blood in, blood out, man. You fall out, hey, your ass is grass. And if this don't put a fire under you jakes out there, man, then, hey, your ass, you, you... It ain't nothing we can do for you. Prophecies are popping out. World War III. The Karagma. All these things. America is falling, bro. They talking about a new variant hit. Then this shit finna crack, man. Brothers should be excited for this. I'm excited, man. 
And it's to the point, it's like it's not even real. It's like, what? It, 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 reality haven't even set in yet, bro. When reality sets in and we see what, what's going to happen out here, bro, and we realize that the Lord is going to protect us, man, bro, hey, man, we going to talk big shit in that day. Because, hey, brothers, I don't know about y'all, but, hey, I want that power, man. I want that fucking glory, man. And I want it in righteousness, man. Even though we don't deserve shit, but you know what, man? We're putting our best foot forward. And those of you that's not even trying, just get the fuck out of here, man. Go beat it somewhere. You be better off doing yourself a favor than just going back in the motherfucking world. Precept. This is the book of Proverbs 24 and 10. It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. What's the point of doing this if you ain't going to see it through? You got to see it through, man. You have to see the end goal. You have to see yourself getting beamed up on them cherries, man. Escaping the nuclear destruction. Escaping the martial law, man. Getting delivered by the skin of your teeth from these rebellious ass niggas out here. Seeing yourself with spiritual power, man. Fucking shit up, man. Because like the brother said, I want to fuck shit up. I want to fuck people up, man. That's... that. I want, look, man, I want to put holy hell on these heathens and these two-third niggas, man. Starting with you niggas and it's truth. We going to get it. We going to, we through the spirit, the most high is going to get your ass first, man. And guess what? He's going to use his battle axes to do it. I pray the Lord make me a battle axe every motherfucking day, whether it's, it's subconsciously or uh, I pray the Lord make me a battle axe, man. If I'm good for nothing else in this truth, I pray the Lord make me a battle axe, man. Because you know what? It's fucking blood to be got out here. And I'm saying that in the spirit. Fuck whoever took it the wrong way. If you take it the wrong way, it's because you a bitch, man. And that's the spirit. You a bitch. And the most high gonna kill your bitch ass, man. Now, tell that to the judge. It says, if thou fan in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. We're in the days of adversity and it's gonna intensify. Things are gonna start to turn up out here in the spirit. These people are getting ready to lose their goddamn minds, man. They don't know what's coming or what's going. These people are getting ready to lose it, man. Like the apostles and the brothers always say. They say, hey, when people ain't got nothing to lose, they lose it, man. And a lot of you Israelites going to bug the fuck out. A lot of you so-called, you niggas that think you on a level, man. You know what I'm saying? You all carn out, carnal. We got sticks and this and that. A lot of you guys are going to bug out. When that first wave of martial law troop come marching down your damn street, a lot of you gonna bug the fuck out.